Hi guys, Tom here from MS Power User, and look, we are now looking at the Instagram app for Windows 10, specially made. So this looks like it's a port from the iOS app, it looks pretty much exactly the same. Actually it looks quite similar to the Android one as well. Um, you've got your search function there, um, it's all laid out exactly like the iOS one, which is excellent, excellent use for us anyway. Um, we can finally get a, a decent kind of Instagram client, which is excellent. Um, there we go, it's, it's all there. Um, if you press here, you've obviously got a way to upload your photos. Um, you've got a library, um, to pick it on your library, take a photo there, or take a video. So we've got video uploading. I think it's still a bit buggy, it's doing weird things. Um, but here we go, let's try and take one. I'm gonna focus. I don't think it is. Oh. It's okay, it's a bit buggy, but I'll try and take a picture. Oh, there we go. Here's a, a comparison between the Android one and the new one. Um, so they look pretty similar, pretty similar off the board there. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, it's all laid out the same. Got your pictures there. So yeah, it's, it's pretty much there. The only thing, obviously, because it, it's brand new, it's going to be a bit buggy. So when you try and take a photo, it does kind of keeps booting you out. So yeah, there it goes. Not, not feeling it. But um, yeah, it's there. And it also looks like we've got some 3D touch. So if you long press on something, you get the 3D touch effect as such. If you swipe that up, you can kind of say like, view profile and send message. And if you swipe it away, and it's gone. Nice. Cool. I like it. I like it. Hopefully it's a sign of good things to come for the Instagram app. Let's see, there's video upload as well, we can get through to that part. But otherwise, all good. Oh, so there it is. Windows 10. Hopefully it'll become a universal app, so we can get our hands on it for uh, for continuum. That'd be good. That'd be nice to see it on the roll. But there you go. There's the old one. There's a new one. You can download it in the Windows Store. Just go to just type in Instagram beta. It should be there. If you can't find it, uh, we'll leave a link below and just check that out. Alright, guys. Um, well, that's pretty much it. We'll see you in the next one.